magic. Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to be making this creamy, dreamy mushroom pasta. I don't know how to say that, the pasta name, so we're calling it pasta. Cool? Cool. Uh, the stream is sponsored by HelloFresh, so we'll be making a meal from them. You can use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code P-O-G-S-E-12885 for 16 free meals in, across six boxes and three free gifts. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So we got everything right here. It's just... Got everything that we need right here. Got our little... Got our little thing. A recipe card. Everything's already pre-portioned. We just have to follow the instructions. I got water pre-boiling over there, so it should be fine. I didn't salt the water though. Let's salt the water. Camera, don't fall. I'm a professional. <laughs> professional. Just gotta salt the water a bit. Make it nice and salty. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> Camera zooming. But yeah. So, we're starting water, we're boiling it. What else do we gotta do? We gotta wash and dry our produce and then trim and slice mushrooms into one fourth inch thick pieces. We need a cutting board. Cutting board. Ooh, the water's already boiling. Nice. No, mushroom down! Boo! We got it. We're gonna rinse it off. Always wash your produce. You don't know what's on it. Especially in the case of mushrooms. Or really anything from the grocery store. Or anywhere. Noise and clean. That's all the produce we got. Now we need a knife. We need to put you down here. Well, hello fresh. Okay. These are all the ingredients and what we're be making. This is the end result. This is what it's going to look like. Noife. It said... I'm just going to do it like that. I'm assuming that's a fourth of an inch. Yeah. So all this produce came right from the farm directly to my door. So I think that's pretty dope. And I can tell because the mushrooms we got, they were packaged like the ones that I, uh, like the ones I get from my grocery store. Like, and those farms are pretty close by. Like. 
Yeah. Hopefully these aren't too thick. I'm not pulling out a ruler. It didn't say we needed a ruler, so I'm not getting a ruler. <laughs> I don't know how big it's supposed to be. All right. Got them chopped. Cleaned. Chopped. Beautiful. Okay. Next up, heat a large... Heat a large drizzle of olive oil in a large pan over medium-high heat. Pan. Medium high with a large drizzle. We got this fancy little olive oil bottle. I'm assuming is does this look like a large drizzle? Like I don't know how big a large drizzle is, but I'm assuming that's it. All right. Add mushrooms, season with salt and pepper. Cook stirring occasionally until brown and slightly crispy, about five to seven minutes. What are we gonna mix this with? I think there's like, a, yeah, we got a little wooden spatula thing right here. We'll use this. Maybe not this one. We'll use the spoon one. Spoon. Okay, we gotta wait for that to uh, heat up. Once water is boiling, add the pasta to the pot. You gotta turn the heat back up so it actually gets to a boil again. And then reserve one cup of pasta cooking water. El Dante is nine to 11 minutes. Is this exciting? I hope it's exciting. Ooh, these are what these are. What these? They're like the little spirals, sort of like macaroni, except they keep going and going and going. <laughs> Big spiral. They're cute. I like these. I like these. These are gonna be delicious. So, what are we using the green onion or whatever it's called for? Pasta cooks, melt one tablespoon. Oh, we're gonna have to take the mushrooms out. Oh, we're gonna add the scallion whites to the sauce. Okay, we can add these in, some just boil them again. Noise. Be hot. It seems warm. Let's throw one in and see. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Ah. Well, that's doing that. Let's chop up our little green onion. Or, scallion. Green scallion. Get rid of the little root bit. may have surprised you, but I went to a cooking school. It was a cooking high school, but it still counts. may also surprise you that I learned nothing there. <laughs> they were not very good. I mostly just worked in the school cafeteria, and we didn't really have any lunch ladies. It was just all students. Oh, we gotta separate the greens and the whites. Because we're gonna add it to the sauce in a bit. Pan! Okay, so the mix. 
I don't know if I added enough olive oil. It felt like a large drizzle, but who can really say? Already. Oh, we have our the mushrooms and pasta going. Oh, this one might be a little thick. There we go. Season with salt and pepper. Salt. So for these recipes, you need the basics. They're mushrooms. Let's add more salt. I also have this little Himalayan salt grinder because I'm fancy. It was very expensive. I'm happy it's lasting so long. <laughs> um, got pepper. But yeah, you need the basics, which are salt, pepper, butter, oil. I think that's it. I think that should be it. Oh, it said sugar. But I feel like the sugar is for like if you're getting desserts. I'm sure if it needs a lot, they're going to provide you with it. Ooh, look at those. Yummy, yummy. What do we got to do next? Once water is boiling, add... I was not timing the pasta. We're just going to have to check on it and see when it's done. Uh, we have to also recut... Reserve one cup of pasta water. Is this a cup? This is a half a cup. Cup. We measuring out here. I don't know how, it says slightly crispy for the mushrooms. I think I needed to add more oil for that. Cause mine aren't getting crispy. They look delicious, but not crispy. Okay, I'm gonna say this is good. We're good on this, we're good on this. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and put it aside. I love mushrooms. I'm excited to eat this. Okay, we got the mushrooms done. Once water is boiling, we did that. It's cooking. Let's stir it. Make sure they're not all sticking together. Yeah, they got a little bit to go. Blue pasta is cooking. Melt two tablespoons of plain butter. Got a little butter tray back here. Hopefully there's butter in it. There do be butter! Yay! And it looks about, it looks like it's about two tablespoons, so we're just gonna use it all. So with these meals, you have options. You can do quick and easy, you can do healthy, you can be uh, family friendly, veggie, pescatarian. My two choices were uh, veggie and pescatarian. So this is the veggie option that I picked. Uh, the pescatarian one I picked was salmon. And it was, we tried it. It was really good. It was nice. I liked it. And I tried bulgur for the first time. I think that's how you say it, bulgur. It was really good. Very dilly. It lived up to its name. Okay. The pan. And the pan used for mushrooms. Okay. Over medium high heat. Medium high. We got there. We're there. We're there. Add scallion whites and cook until softened. Okay, so we got the little scallion whites right here. 
I really like all things like onion and scale, um, onion and green oniony and chivy and stuff. So I hope that this it comes out in this because I'm excited. Silver medium high. Scale your whites and cook until softened, about a minute. So we're gonna leave that there for a little bit. Add flour and cook, stirring until lightly browned. Okay, we got the flour. Add flour and cook, stirring until lightly browned. Whisk in milk and a third cup of, a third of the cup of the reserved pasta cooking water. Okay. There. Let's check on the pasta. It's getting there. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. Wait, we whisk in the flour? Add flour and cook, stirring until slightly, lightly browned. I don't have scissors. I don't own scissors. So I use my tooths. I don't recommend doing that. That's just what I do. Okay, we add the flour. Camera's okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Ooh, it's already browning. Let's turn down the heat a little bit. This is the this is the big burner. I should have accounted for that. This flame gets huge. Okay, it looks browned. Tasty. What do I do? Whisk in milk and the water. We're gonna go with the water first because I don't want it to burn the milk. Ah! <laughs> so steamy. Whisk it. I didn't whisk. My whisk broke. Oh god, everything's going wrong. Okay, that's added. Milk! They come in this cute little milk thing. It's adorable. Yep, that's milk. <laughs> Wait, does it say all the milk? Whisk and milk and okay. Let's pour it all in. Maybe I should did the did the milk first. There's like a lot of it. I can't whisk if my whisk is broken. There we go. Okay, well, you know, I tried. Simmer until slightly thickened for three to four minutes. Okay, so we gotta make sure all the flour pumps are broken. <laughs> Floppy whisk, oh god. In case you couldn't see it, like, it broke. <laughs> the little thing popped out. Okay, the pasta should be done. Oh yeah, that's done. Nice. Pasta. I should have added more water to it. No, oh, it's fine. It looks delicious. Let's taste it. Let's take, like, take a little bit. Woo! Yeah, it's nice and soft. It's good, it's good. It's good. It's not over soft, it's not under soft, it's nice. It's nicely soft. 
Stirring cream cheese in a pan with sauce until melted and combined. Stir in mushrooms. Okay. Wait, why did we need a cup of pasta water? Ah. It says we add it in if it needs to be less thick. Okay, we gotta drain the water. Ooh. I got this thing, so I think it'll work just fine. Can you even see the water dripping out? <laughs> no. Let me learn that I'm a terrible cook. <laughs> Half my pasta into the sink. Well, not half of it, only a little bit, but still. That should have been none. Okay, that seems slightly thickened. Okay. Cream cheese. Wait, what's the butter for? Oh, we added in with everything else. So when we add the mushrooms and the pasta in, we add in the butter. <gasps> this is this is for just me, so I can lick I can lick it if I want. Oh, release. cheese. I'm not going to use the whisk. I'm going to use just this. We got to mix it in, make sure it melts. How did a mosquito get in? It just smelled my great cooking and it was like, you know what? I want some of that. That's obviously what happened. Okay, it's like mostly melted. Now we have the mushrooms. I'm gonna be using this bowl to eat my pasta. My pasta. Mushrooms. Pasta. And last but not least. Our fancy little package of garlic herb butter. I think it's adorable. It looks fancy. I got lint in my hand. Oh. Sorry. There we go. Ooh, this looks delicious. garlic butter. I love garlic. It's delicious. Butter also seems to be delicious. So, that's what we're doing. Parmesan goes off the top at the end, and then we put the rest of the green, the scallion, on top as well. As like a little tasty garnish.
It's like a little hamburger helper, but with mushrooms. <laughs> so it's a salt, seasoned with salt and pepper. So that's what we're gonna do. I like pepper. I like pepper a lot. We're gonna do a lot of pepper. Make it nice and peppery. gonna do because whenever I cook I like to make it nice and herby and seasoned and stuff. Well first we're gonna give it a little taste test. And then I'm gonna make it mine and add okay that's done. We're gonna add some parsley on top. Because parsley is delicious and we have I have parsley growing in my house right now. <laughs> Do some of the pasta in. Look at that. You can't tell me this doesn't look delicious. It's enough for two bowls. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna add Parmesan on top. That's the nice Parmesan too. Like, it's nice and stringy, not powdery. Ooh, that's how you know it's the good stuff. May have over cheesed. But that's fine. No one ever complains about too much cheese. And then we top with, bam. Doesn't that look good? The finished product! So jiggly. And it just took me, took me under 30 minutes to make this. under 30 minutes that's great like i didn't think i'd be able to make this in under 30 minutes but it walked me through it it gave me all the ingredients it looks delicious we need a fork fork Ooh, it's nice and hot you know what This is freaking delicious. I love it. I'm gonna make this again. I'm gonna order this again. <laughs> this is good. I'm gonna go get some parsley. Parsley. And a wee bit of thyme, because I have that too. Look at this. Delicious. Just rip it up. Sprinkle on top. I think everything is better with parsley. Parsley's delicious. A little bit of thyme. Look at that. Look at this. Delicious. <laughs> so again, we are sponsored by HelloFresh. Please check them out. You get, if you use my link or go to the website and use my code POGSE12885, you get 16 free meals, 16, across six boxes and three free gifts. It's a hell of a deal. I did it, you should try it too. I think, like, look what you can make. Look what you can make. All the instructions are very easy. Gives you everything you need. You you just prepare it and you eat it. Like, I didn't have to go to the store at all this week. 
because they shipped it right to my door and it was all fresh. It was still all cold. My salmon, delicious. This pasta, delicious. It's all great. And on that note, let me know if you want to see more cooking videos or streams because this was pretty fun. Um, yeah, let's get back to the game. Bye-bye.